Kyle's first day of high school. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Our primary goal was to provide a community service to juniors and seniors in high school who are preparing to go to college. With our knowledge of the college application process and some experience being in college, we created an open panel to answer any and all questions they might have. We attempted to maximize the value of our service by appealing to students who may not have access to such college support directly through their school. To develop a strategic plan, we created a SWOT analysis to identify our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Our strengths were that we possess a lofty amount of information about college considering that we are all sophomores. We also all come from a wide variety of backgrounds and have the ability to answer a wide variety of questions. Our primary weaknesses were that we all operate on different schedules and Jennifer was going to be out of the country for close to two weeks. Our opportunity was to provide a unique and valuable community service to future college students. Our major threat was that a lot of high schools already have programs for college preparedness, so we were unsure if we would even be able to find a school who could use our services. As a team, we use a non-program decision-making model, utilizing a nominal approach. We each generated our own ideas and wrote them on sticky notes before collaborating with the group in order to avoid groupthink. After coming together and sharing our ideas, we decided to divide the ideas into three groups, yes, no, and maybe. We then used reasoned judgment by providing strengths we each had, which related to the couple of yes ideas. We kept narrowing down the group of yes ideas until we had one which best suited the majority of our strengths and that we believe would, create, would be creative and interesting. In our team, we were all really motivated to complete this project to the best of our abilities. Our motivation comes from our intrinsic and extrinsic values. Our intrinsic values are to provide useful information to college students and help them with the knowledge that we possess. Our extrinsic values are to get good grades so we can become successful in the business school. Being dedicated to helping students and getting a good grade will influence all of us to work to the best of our abilities. Our team was developed using all stages of Bruce Tuckman's model, forming, storming, norming, performing, and adjoining. In the forming stage, we got to know each other on a basic level and agreed that our purpose as a group was to complete this project resulting in a desirable grade. During storming, we had little conflict, but we did need to determine which project would be best for us as a whole and produce the most positive result. This also played into the norming phase where we accepted all viewpoints of each projected idea. During performing is where we really shine. We were able to execute our plan with purpose and intention and are now able to move on into the adjoining stage where we can evaluate the completed project as a whole. We really use the diversity of our different personality types and our personal backgrounds to our advantage in the planning, execution, and completion phases of this project. Because of the natural chemistry our group had from the beginning, we had a very laissez-faire leadership style where we all had a voice and all provided effective input. Because of our positive group dynamics and complementary attributes, we are able to share accountability for our performance.